you heard the good news? Oh, you don't always do this? <laughs> the jury came in. We won. Well, Greg won. But I was there, right beside him. You know, passing him phony notes and pretending to whisper in his ear. Oh, man, it's so great. How is Greg in his office? Yeah, probably. He's a workaholic. Not me, though, huh? I can quit any time I want. <laughs> Hi, come on in. Why aren't you at the party? I don't think I can do this anymore, Dharma. We put these people away and they're back on the streets 18 months later. What's the point? What's the point of the whole thing? Well, there's cake out there. You spend your whole life climbing a mountain and you finally get to the top and realize after all these years you've been climbing the wrong mountain. Honey, mountains can't be wrong. They're just mountains. Unless they're the kind that are underwater, then they're islands, you know, with just the tippy top sticking out. What does that mean? Um, I don't know. I'm just trying to buy a little time until I figure out what's going on here. I'm sorry. I shouldn't be whining. This is my job. I'll just live with it. Oh, Greg, that's not the answer. You feel sad. Don't suppress it. Just feel the feeling. Well, I don't want to feel sad. Well, nobody does. That's why there's drugs, alcohol, war, divorce, catalogs, plastic surgery, and pudding. Pudding? You didn't try to cry when you're eating pudding, I dare you. Honey, I know we're supposed to have lunch today, but I still got a lot of work to do. Can I uh, get a rain check? Yeah, of course you can. Hey, you know what, Greg? If it makes you so miserable, why don't you just quit? <laughs> quit? I can't just quit. Why not? Because I. Oh, my God, I could. I could just quit. <laughs> I mean, it's not like civilization's gonna come to an end. Is that what's been holding you back? <laughs> okay, I'd, uh, I'd like to thank everyone for all their hard work on this case. <laughs> But I've come to realize that this job is uh, slowly strangling the life out of me and I can't stand for it anymore. So uh, as of this moment, I quit. Goodbye and good luck. <laughs> she uh, forgot her purse. <laughs> Hey! Glad you could make it! Ah, Dom, I 
didn't quite understand your message. Why are we celebrating Gregory's freedom? Freedom from what? He quit his job. To do what? We don't know! Have a suit. I won't need it. Oh, don't forget a tie. Who else wants a suit? Have you ever seen him so happy? No, I have not. And I blame you. Sunshine. <laughs> we rock and rolled all night, didn't we? Yeah, yeah. Honey, I rock and rolled all night. You were out like a trout by 10.15. I was? You don't remember? You were giving away all your suits, and then you ran upstairs to get your wingtips, and we never saw you again. Well, that explains why I woke up at the bottom of the closet. <laughs> Remember your parents being here? No. Were they? No. <laughs> so what are you doing? Making breakfast. Eggs Florentine, uh, homemade cinnamon scones, and fresh squeezed grapefruit juice. It's when do you cook? I love to cook. I just never had time. Mm. <laughs> Fantastic. Thanks. I can't believe it. Now I can do all the things that I never had time for, like working out, reading, spending more time with you. Mm, that's great, honey. It is. It's wonderful. Dharma, I'm starting to panic. I need a job. Relax, Greg. You haven't even been unemployed for a day. Yeah, you're not even late yet. I don't know what to do. I got up this morning, I showered, shaved, put on my work underwear. And... You have work underwear? Yes! I have work underwear and no place to wear them. I need a job. Oh, what you need is a vacation. I can't take a vacation. I'm unemployed. Unemployed people who take vacations are hobos. I hear you say is that a job is important to your sense of self. So let's start with that. What makes you happy? A job. I got that. Now let's narrow it down a little bit. I mean, is there anything in your life you've ever done that gave you a sense of joy and well-being? No. Come on, Greg. When you were growing up, what did you want to be? A Harvard graduate. No, I mean before that. An Exeter graduate. Think, Greg. Is there something you wanted to be when you were a little boy, you know, like a cowboy? Dharma, I can't be a cowboy. <laughs> hey, if everybody said that, there'd be a bunch of cows running around everywhere. <laughs> the only thing I know how to do is be a lawyer. Greg, that is not true. Come here, look at this beautiful meal you made. Well, I do love to cook. Well, there you go. Then cook. If that's what you love to do, Greg, that's what you should be doing. I think you're being a little naive. Greg. If you got to prepare beautiful food for people all day long, would that make you happy? I couldn't just do that for That's a living. That's not what I asked you. I asked if it would make you happy. I think it would. Once again, your underwear has purpose. <laughs> Come on, how am I supposed to become a cook? I just pick your favorite restaurant and walk on in there and tell them you're willing to start at the bottom. But you love to cook. It's your bliss. It's your what? <laughs> my, my, my bliss. Uh, you, you know, my, my calling. What, what makes please, me happy. Please, please, I know bliss. <laughs> what I don't know is why a U.S. attorney wants to cook. I just told you, it makes me happy. Uh, what do you want? What is this, some kind of a sting, huh? Look at the hidden cameras. <laughs> there are no hidden cameras. I'm not the one you want. It's my brother. He does the books. I don't want your brother. Listen, please, let me explain something to you. I am in the restaurant business. You want liquor? You want linens? Sometimes you have to turn your head and look the other way. I don't want to arrest you. I just want to cook. We don't cook. This is sushi. No cooking. No, I, I understand that. I'm, I, I just want to learn to prepare food for people to make them happy. You go to Harvard, 
You go to Stanford Law, now you want to make a sushi, you nuts? <laughs> I never thought Greg would leave the Justice Department. So, uh, so what other firms is he talking to? Oh, come on, Gottlieb. He just won the biggest case of the decade. He's talking to everyone. So you might want to think about sweetening your offer, Stanley. Kitty, I was at the firm for 12 years before I made partner. <laughs> that may very well be, Stanley, but Gregory is better than you. <laughs> he is. Hi. Ah, there they are. Oh, Greg, so good to see you again. Hello, Stan. Uh, Dharma, this is our family attorney, Stanley Gottlieb. Oh, yeah, you're the guy who sent us those annulment forms when we got married. Oh, well, that, well, that, that was, was a uh... terrible mistake, and I am sure you fired the horrible person that was responsible. Like a shot from a cannon. <laughs> There's no need to embellish, Stanley. I'm sure Dharma understands. Edward, change the subject. Uh, Gregory, uh, how did you enjoy your rare day off? Oh, no, he didn't have a day off. He had, like, 15 interviews. Dharma, let me tell them. You didn't accept another job, did you? Kitty, I thought I had the inside track. You drag your feet on the signing bonus, Stanley. That's what happens. Hey, I came to the table with six figures. Full partnership in two years. Use of the company jet. What else do you want? I don't believe this. You guys were negotiating a job for me? Sounds like they were doing okay, honey. <laughs> Gregory, we're just looking out for your best interests. Well, my best interests involve me getting up in the morning and doing something that makes me happy. And I found that. Oh, my God. He's going into entertainment law. <laughs> nope. I'm going to be a chef. A, a what? what? <laughs> okay, not exactly a chef. A cook. Uh, a, a fry cook. Uh, you know, burgers, patty melts. Eventually, I'll run the whole griddle, including, of course, uh, cold sandwiches and uh, soups. I blame you. Pick up two. How we doing here? Oh, it's incredible. I can't stop eating and that's on the match. Oh. <laughs> Everything is just delicious, Greg. What's on the home fries? Tarragon? And a little paprika. Shh. <laughs> okay. Open your eyes. Holy paper hat, Batman. <laughs> Pete, Jane! Come on, sit down. What can I get you? Give me two dead soldiers face down in the mud with a side of shrapnel. Coming up. What's that? I have no idea. Pete? Greg? It is still Greg, isn't it? Yeah. Come on, I'm busy. What do you want? Uh, grilled cheese and some fries. A and maybe a big bowl of what the hell you doing? <laughs> I'm doing great, having the time of my life. Have you gotten a paycheck yet? It's not about money, Pete. It's, uh, it's about bliss. That's good, because, you know, you probably took a pay cut here. <laughs> Gregory. Hey, Dad. What can I get you? Well, $200,000 for your education, for starters. <laughs> when I open up my own restaurant someday, you'll get every penny back. Thank you. Gregory, why are you doing this? Dad, I don't want to turn around when I'm 60 and wonder what I did with my life. Is that what you think I've done? Well, no. I, I don't know. Are you happy? I don't understand that question. <laughs> well, if you didn't have to worry about money or responsibility or prestige, what would you do? Boy, there, there's another stumper. <laughs> Come on, Dad, answer the question. Well, son, when I was in the service, I discovered I did have a talent, but... Oh, forget it. No, what was it? It doesn't matter what it was. I put it aside because I had obligations, and so do you. All right. Never mind. I cut hair, and I was damn good at it, too. <laughs> what? I know how people should wear their hair. I don't, uh... What? <laughs> it's about shape. 
It's about symmetry. It's about understanding what is pleasing to the eye. Uh, Abby, uh, forgive me. Uh, uh, I've been meaning to do this ever since I first saw you. Just let it fall by your face and softly <laughs> lay there. Wow, you're right. See, it's a gift. <laughs> Jane, is it a UPS guy with a pocket full of snassages, guys? Oh, 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 it's Grandma! <laughs> Do you realize what you've done? Do you realize how you have destroyed my family? Do you realize how you have absolutely made my life a living hell? Is this stuff you already told me, or is this new stuff? <laughs> You see how we can update the style and still keep it classic? <laughs> I love it! Look, look what you've done. Just... Wow, Abby! Isn't it fantastic? <laughs> she looks like Joni Mitchell. <laughs> you did this? He has a gift. I have a gift. Would you please stop saying that? Nobody has a gift. Excuse me, Joni Mitchell has a gift. <laughs> Who is... Never mind. If you would all please just excuse me, I'd like to speak with Dharma for a moment. You know, Kitty, with some bangs, you would look a lot less severe. Get out! <laughs> all right, now do you see the problem? Yes. And what do we do about it? I have no idea. I lied. I don't see the problem here. <laughs> My husband is cutting hair. My son is flipping burgers. That is a problem. Why? If they're happy. Dama, do you have any idea what it means to be a Mrs. Montgomery? It would look better with bangs. <laughs> Stop talking and sit down. Down. <sighs> this family has a long and a proud tradition. We build communities. We shape policy. We fund the arts. We employ thousands of people. And it is our job as Montgomery women to protect and to pass on this tradition. Mm, no. It's my job to help my husband be happy. Mm, no. <laughs> it is your job to maintain a long-range vision of your husband's happiness. Dama, if I were to let Edward just pursue his whims willy-nilly, he would be living on barbecued potato chips and, and working at Supercuts in San Bruno. <laughs> Kitty, what did you want to be as a little girl? Now, do not change the subject. I bet you wanted to be a great dancer. I was a great... Never mind, this is not about me. <laughs> Kitty, what does it matter if Edward cuts hair, if that's his calling? It is nobody's calling! Oh, how could you say that? About Do you know how many people love to cut hair and cook and, and mow the lawn? Look at your gardener. He's got a huge smile on his face. Oh, please. His family floated over to this country on a beer cooler. <laughs> he's happy to be alive. Oh, but he's happy, and that's the whole point. Why are you so fixated on happiness? Because that's the tradition I want to start in this family. I want my husband to follow his bliss. And if flipping burgers makes him happy, then I want him to flip burgers for the rest of his life. Oh, God. What have I done? <laughs> you quit? What do you mean, you quit? Dharma, I was working at a cheesy diner. Craig, you were following your bliss. Well, you shouldn't let me follow my bliss. You shouldn't let me drink bleach. You shouldn't let me go into a biker bar dressed as Tinkerbell. Why would you want to do that? Why would I want to flip burgers? Gee, you were so happy. I was insane! Well, that's the big problem with insane. Sometimes it looks like happy. Now I have to go ask for my job back. Craig, I thought it made you miserable. Well, sure, I mean, there are parts of it that do. Preparing for a case, trying a case. Sure, when you lose a case, and of course, after a win, sometimes there's a big letdown. Honey, 
That's all of it. I know. And I miss it. Huh. Oh, what? No, oh, no, nothing. It's just <laughs> most of the time people think I'm the nutty one. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Thanks for letting me freak out. Aw. Hey. Thanks for bringing home the industrial-sized jar of mayo. <laughs> yeah, it was my pay. Hey, Greg, Greg. Yeah. Do you think maybe for just one or two more weeks we can still tell your mom you're a fry cook? I was planning on it. Oh, baby. I'm coming after you, and I'm bringing this. <laughs> You're right, Edward. You do have a gift. Huh? I know. Now, we're agreed you're going to put the comb and the scissors and the little towel back in your army trunk, and we're not going to talk about them again. Yes, dear. Edward, what would you think of me as a redhead? I thought you'd never ask. I'll get the color chart. 